Hi everyone, I'm Pave from the Center for Academic Communication at the University of Victoria. Today we're going to talk about reading and I'm going to give you some tips on how to read academic texts faster and understand them better. Hopefully, with adapting some of these strategies, you will be able to become a more effective and efficient reader. You can start thinking about the reading skills by dividing the reading process into three main stages. What you do before reading or pre-reading, what you do while reading, and how you follow up with these in post-reading. First up is pre-reading. How do you prepare for a reading passage before you start reading it? Do you jump into the dense text with no preparation? Or do you take some steps to make dealing with the text easier? Gaining some background information in advance helps you to read more easily and grasp the key ideas faster. But how do you pre-read and what are the steps? The first step is to familiarize yourself with the topic. Doing some research on the topic of your reading passage will facilitate your comprehension and can also motivate you to learn more about it. Similarly, learning about the context behind your reading passage can help you read it with more comfort and with a better chance of understanding it. Academic reading passages, such as books and journal articles, are part of an ongoing scholarly conversation between the scholars in a field. Knowing about this context before starting to read is like listening to their full conversation instead of hearing only one line. Reading literature review articles or just doing a simple internet search on the history of the discussion can immensely improve your comprehension of the passage at hand. Another way to aid your reading comprehension before starting to read is to study the structure of the text in advance. Knowing how your reading passage is constructed can help you identify its key information, navigate more easily through the passage finding that information, and focus on the parts that you want to read more carefully. If you're reading a book, the table of contents will give you clues about the structure, and for journal articles, you can study their headings and subheadings. Try to see the relation between those headings and subheadings. Get some connected dots in your mind. Even if your guesses turn out to be incorrect, this mental exercise prepares you for reading more actively and effectively. Don't forget to review the visual information like charts, graphs, and tables. They are meant to summarize information in a way that is more accessible and can be absorbed in a shorter time. Finally, you can skip the topic sentences of each paragraph to get a more detailed sense of the line of argument and the author's overall message. Read the first and last sentences of each paragraph and try to use your background knowledge to fill in the gaps by making inferences and drawing connections. Having taken all these steps, you are now ready to read the text in detail. Even at this step, it is still important to scan for more important information and skim through the less relevant parts. Look for key pieces of information and try to highlight them as you go. The first piece of information you're looking for is a thesis statement. Every reading passage has one single point that is the most encompassing and all the other points only support that. Finding this point is the most important task in reading comprehension. Look for it near the end of the introduction section, starting with a signal phrase like, uh, the main objective of this article is, or in this paper I argue that. Once you have found a thesis statement, make sure you highlight it. Next are the main supporting points. These are the most significant claims or pieces of information by which authors support their thesis. Finding them helps you follow the line of argument and see its main checkpoints. While in shorter texts, you might find these in the topic sentences of each paragraph, in longer passages, look for them in the beginning of each section. Once you have identified and highlighted the thesis and the main supporting points, you can move on to the last phase of reading, which is taking your own notes. At this stage, you can start to paraphrase and synthesize the ideas and lay the foundation on which you can build your own writing. Try to rewrite the key information in the text in your own words and add your comments and questions as well. This helps you to not only gain a deeper understanding of the text, but also to internalize the information in a way that you can use them for your own writing. You can use a simple worksheet like this to record your notes. Paraphrase the key information on the left and add your comments and questions to the right. Okay, these are the three main steps you can take to improve your reading efficiency. To recap, prepare before you read, 
skim for the key information while reading, and take notes after you have finished reading. Remember, these strategies only work after you have practiced them many times. So keep reading and the results will come soon. Thank you for watching and happy reading. To learn more tips and tricks to help improve your academic communication skills, visit the University of Victoria Center for Academic Communication website for workshops and other resources. You can also book an appointment with one of our tutors by clicking the link in the description below. Good luck and see you soon!